We got Piccolinas all over the road. They're always in the way. About to run this dude off the road. Get the heck out of here. Put another guy in the hospital. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. We're back with the new update in beautiful Italy because this map has a ton of new missions to do. Literally, there's like 15 of them. So I thought we could check out uh, some of the more interesting ones today. There's some Jim Connor stuff. There's some delivery stuff, bus routes, of course, and maybe some other stuff as well. We're going to check it all out or at least as much as we can fit into a 15 minute YouTube video. It should be a lot of fun. But before we get started, a quick word from Apex Gaming PCs. So as you may have known by now, me and Apex Gaming PCs have worked together to bring you three awesome custom Neological PCs, all custom made to play Beam and G Drive and pretty much anything you want at the best FPS possible. All of the custom Neological PCs feature Ryzen CPUs, so you really are going to get the best performance you can possibly get out of this game, which is highly demanding on CPUs, by the way. And we've recently updated the GPU on the Logical PC from a GTX 1650 to a GTX 1660 Super. This is going to get you about a 60% performance gain for only about 4.2% of a price increase, which I think is a pretty good deal. So if you do pick up a Neological PC, make sure to use code NEIL at checkout and you'll get 5% off right then and there. So click the link down below and let's get into this video. Alrighty, so here we are in Italy. We actually don't use this map very often. I really should though, because it's a, a giant open world map. This is, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the biggest map we have. So let's take a little cruise and just enjoy the scenery. The new graphics, you gotta love it. They look better and better after each update. I should probably slow down. And we just wrecked a hundred thousand dollar sports car. That's <laughs> that's uh, that's beautiful, man. You gotta love it. Anyway, let's actually pull up the map here and see if we can find anything that looks interesting to us. So we have all the quick travel points, the fast travel points, uh, but I want to do. Maybe, maybe let's start with something fairly simple. Blanco delivery. Take a little package and drop it off across the island at our storage shack. So we're going to be driving over by the airport to start this thing. Does it say how long it's going to be? Is this like a really long delivery? I guess, I guess all we could really do is find out. So actually, can I use a, the fast travel point? Is there any fast travel points I can use like the airport? I can <laughs> That's awesome. What's, what's really cool about that is you used to have to, if you wanted to fast travel, you basically had to go to the map selector and then within there, find where you want to go. And then you would have a loading screen, literally no loading screens here, which is so freaking awesome. And now we are pretty much right by where we are going. I think it's right down the road here, actually. Oh! I am having trouble today, man. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I guess I just had a little bit too much juice on that one, which is, you know, it happens. It definitely happens. All righty. So we've arrived at Bianco Auto. So what are we delivering exactly? It just says take a little package. We could use our own vehicle. So is it going to strap like a something to the top of our car? How is this? Uh, how is this working? Or do I have the package? It's just in the car. Take this package delivered across the island. It's sensitive, so don't get carried away and start playing bumper cars. Uh, but we need it there pronto. You got it. Uh, just show up to the shack and we'll take care of it. Don't ask any questions. We are smuggling drugs, everybody. At least that's the implication. I'm just going to it must be a small package. So it's just in our car and there is traffic. I saw traffic. So we have to watch out for that as well, especially on the tiny winding roads of Italy here. There we go. We have three and a half minutes to get there. Is that counting down? Yeah, it is counting down. So we only have three and a half minutes. Good news though. I picked a very fast car to do this. 
So at least there's that. Excuse me, guys. There we go. Give it a little bit of gas here. We just get to drive the coast, baby. Just don't ask any questions about what's in the package. It's not a big deal. Hopefully there's not police waiting for me at the end of this, uh, this journey. That would not be good. Kind of relaxing, all things considered, if you just don't think about what's in the package and not uh, don't think about how dangerously we're driving in a uh, populated area. It is honestly kind of satisfying, kind of uh, relaxing, kind of zen. Whoa, 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 Are we okay? Oh, okay, okay. Did not mean to do that. Again, we had a little bit too much juice on it. I don't think it's gonna matter. I think we're still going the right way. Yeah, we are, okay. Just a little hiccup, this is no problem whatsoever. I think we messed up our bumper a little bit, but uh, we're not gonna worry about it. I see the finish line. I think we've actually made pretty good time. We might make it with over a minute left. As long as we don't wreck ourselves right at the end. As long as we don't choke here, I think we got this one in the bag. We gotta get our drug money here. Oh, okay, okay. This uh, makes it even more apparent. I said in the last video that this feels very GTA, this game, especially with the map and everything. And uh, when we're smuggling drugs, it feels even more like GTA, <laughs> which is uh, pretty funny. Actually, there's a lot of winding roads here. We're not gonna quite make it under a minute, but uh, or with a minute left, but I think we should have no problem getting to the uh, end here. I've been driving fairly safe. Minus that one incident, I'm spooked from it. I don't, I, I'm not like a, a pro at this map. I don't know every turn, so I have been taking it fairly uh, safe, but I still don't think, yeah, we're gonna have no problems. We're gonna make it. Are we gonna get the gold though, or is there gold times, plat times? I don't know, here's the ominous shack. We got it here in one piece. Good job, now scram. Thank you, thank you very much. I guess there isn't, um, isn't any gold medals or anything, but we did it. Alrighty, so we aced that one. Let's find something else fun to do here. That was a fairly, fairly calm little mission here. Freeway run, Route A. A fun, possibly high speed run along the freeway from one end to the other. You'll be driving whichever car you enter the mission with. And another one as well. We have another VIP delivery. A chauffeur. Chauffeur your passenger to the castle. Am airport ambulance deliver a patient to the hospital. That sounds kind of fun. That sounds kind of fun. So let's actually get back to the uh, the airport here. All right. So where is this thing? Where's the dying person? We're, we're just getting onto our uh, shift as the um, the ambulance driver, the ambulance driver. Five missions. Oh wait. Okay. So we get to choose which one we want to do. Since there's so much, I want to do the ambulance one. Difficulty is low. That's fine. I'm not I'm not a high difficulty kind of guy, you know? Passenger has been overcome by illness on the flight here. Deliver them to the hospital to get them the care they need. Okay. So we got to play this fast and loose. People are dying here. I should probably turn on the uh, sirens, right? It's not working, though. The usual button's not working. Hold on. Some of the controls changed. Oh! Pause it. Woo! <laughs> pause. Okay, I gotta find the controls to turn the lights on. All right, there we go. I got them. It was shift in. I don't see anybody in the back. <laughs> Are they, you sure they're there? I guess it could have been crash test dummies. Although this game doesn't technically have people, it would probably get changed to rated M for mature just because of the, the violent nature of this game. But uh, I'm sure it's all right. I definitely could have cut that. I definitely could have cut that. Okay, let's actually step on it now. Again, people are dying. We need to go ASAP, man. I see traffic popping in and out of existence. Are they going to cause any problems for me? I hope not. This could get very ugly very fast. Is this thing really topping out at about 93? I feel like an ambulance should go like 150 miles an hour, right? Since, you know, it kind of has some place to be very urgently. Maybe not. Oh yeah, traffic, get out of the way, please. I will push you out of the way. Get out of the way. I warned you. I warned you fools. You're supposed to pull over, man. Have some basic decency. All right, where's this hospital? Is it like deep in one of those uh, cities here? We are running out of time. He's dying, Gobby. We got a minute and a half. 
Whoa, buddy. Kind of nerve wracking if I'm being uh, being honest with you. Go, go, go. We got Piccolinas all over the road. They're always in the way. About to run this dude off the road. Get the heck out of here. Put another guy in the hospital. There we go. All right, we made it. With time to spare. Thank God. There we go. The patient thanks you and says they are feeling better already. Awesome, dude. Awesome. You love to see it. All righty. So what should we do now? Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Time trial events. A lot of time trials. Slithery drift. Inconvenient drift. Airport Gymkhana. You have an open area all to yourself uh, on an airfield along with 60 seconds to show off your drifting skills. I'm actually not bad at that kind of thing. We have a drifting uh, training donut. Do a single donut in this training mission. Well, that's that's easy. Uh, Jim Connor training site. Oh, so it has you like all these um, uh, training missions, I guess. Then we have precision parking. Test your movement skills with the semi truck in this challenge. Watch out for the trash. I say let's do one of the Jim Connors and then I kind of want to do one of these precision parking uh, as well. So let's go to Highway Jim Connor. I think we're already here, right? Oh, uh, okay. So some of these are a little bit farther over. Yeah, there's a lot of events on the uh, Italy map, even more so than Utah. So let's find Airport Gymkhana. There we go. I am not going to use this car. I'm going to use the one that was in the thumbnail because that's actually the car I'm best at uh, drifting as well. I know this might hurt some people's feelings, but man, I just destroy with the Asphalt Rally Edition VVOS. So let's use this one. Okay, Airport Gymkhana. Your goal is to get as many points as possible. You can get points by drifting with a big angle, drift close to the walls. Alternate right and left drifts to increase the combo and don't crash. Okay, so if we want gold, we need 40,000 points. Again, I'm not very good at drifting. Uh, if you want to watch good drifting, check out UK Drifter. He is really good at that. All right, let's try this out. Donut inside the circle. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> are we okay? Okay, we're okay. Let's just keep it up. Let's drift around this building. There we go. This ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. Let's switch it up. Nice. Oh, it's not registering when I switch from left to right, though. Like this. Watch. I thought you were supposed to get extra point. Oh, we're getting close to the wall as well. Let's go around here again. We only have 2,000 points. I feel like this is pretty impressive. Is it just me, though? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm really bad. But I'm trying, okay? Here, let's go over here. There we go. There we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh! Terrible. Drifting is difficult. Yeah, you could say that. We only got 7,500 points. I guess you get more time at it if you do successful drifts. So you got to be sideways basically the whole time. But hey, we gave it a shot. That's all that matters. Let's try something more my speed. <laughs> Literally. Uh, some of the parking challenges. So where do we need to go uh, for these? The hospital? Okay. Okay. Or we could go to the port and use a T-Series. But I want to try it with, a, with a, a little tiny car. So let's go. Where is this at? Oh, it's at the ports. Okay. All righty, so this is, I guess we get to use the car it provides for us, which looks like a uh, Piccolita. Yes, the blue one. So are we literally just parking? Park in each marked parking space as quickly as possible. You get points based on accuracy and remaining time. You can get up to 20 points per parking. Uh, if you finish before the time runs out, you'll get one point per remaining second. Nice. Okay, so this is actually pretty in-depth. When a marker has an arrow, you have to park in the correct orientation. We got it. We got it. I get what's happening here. So the first one's back here. We got a tiny car, so this should be fairly easy, right? Just got to make it through the cones. I'm assuming we don't, we're just supposed to not hit the cones. There we go. Parked. Nice. Perfect. Plus 20 points. All right. Screw the cones. I don't care anymore. Where are we going next? Around the van. Do I, do I like actually lose points if I hit the, uh, 
hit the stuff. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I think you do. So I'm not gonna risk it. There's the fridge, the new fridge. <laughs> and then we're going immediately. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. Since we have like the tiny car. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, more trash. I'm gonna hop the curb. Not the nicest thing to do, but I don't care. We didn't hit the trash. Nice! 65 out of 100. That's it? What did I mess up? Or is it because I when I hit the trash on the on the way out? Maybe I don't know. Or maybe I could have gotten a little bit faster. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. You know what? Since I haven't really taken a look at the fridge yet, I, I probably... Oh, there's a couch as well. I'm going to have to make a, a whole video on the, the different furniture that was added, aren't I? <laughs> that's uh, that's the way it's going to go. Okay, so let's spot up the fridge. I'm going to crush a piccolino with the fridge here, because why not? Is there anything in the fridge? I don't think so. There we go. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we broke the fridge. Oh well. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of BMG Drive. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the link down below. Go to Apex Gaming PCs. Pick up your own Neological PC. You won't regret it. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.